Hey everybody, it's my new video and in this one I'm telling the truth. This is the truth. This is what the CIA does not want you to know. I met a, C a former CIA operative back when I was like 23 or so, 23 or 24. I met a CIA operative for one day he told me what they do. He told me how they're trained. The first thing they do before they even start training, because it takes exactly, each operative takes exactly 10 years to train. The first thing they do is they make it look like you're being captured by terrorists. They make it seem like you're being captured and they, they perform a, a sort of torture, a sort of torture to get you to talk. Mm -hmm. It's called a paralyzer needle. When they stick it in you, you're paralyzed until they put the antidote in. When they put the antidote in, they can, while, while you're paralyzed, they keep asking you, who are your superiors? Who is, who is running your platoon? They'll say the same thing over and over. Who is, who is running your platoon? Tell us the name of your drill sergeant. Tell us the name. If you don't tell us, we're gonna leave you paralyzed. So you have to tell us or we leave you paralyzed. And then they stick the needle in you. Then you're paralyzed but you can still hear the guy, like nothing's working in your body and your head. And eventually, when, a, when the terrorists and them stop, quit doing it, when the terrorists quit, give you the antidote, you're ba back to square one, you're normal, then they wait for you to answer. If you don't answer, they stick the needle in you again, you become paralyzed, they give you the antidote, they continuously say that, they keep trying to get information. Mm -hmm. You know what the CIA operative told me? He said he graduated because most of his platoon ratted him out, said, told, told him where he was. And he was the only one who lasted about two days being tortured, being paralyzed every day. He said he survived that. He, and then they told him the terrorists, he thought he was captured, but then he gave up some of, some of his operatives' names after two days of torture, he gave up his operatives' names. But he last, lasted longer than anybody else. Most people only lasted two hours. He said he lasted at least two days of being tortured. He never gave up a name until he, until he would, they left him paralyzed for an hour. Then he had to give them the name. And then right after he said they gave him the name, they told him, listen to us, I am not a terrorist. What you just experienced was a type of torture that they can do to you. They can do this type of torture to you. So you gave up, you gave up my name, but it took you two days to do it. Two days of torture. You went, you were paralyzed every friggin' day. And then he said that he told that his boss, he said, listen to me, man. Don't ever do that to me again. I feel like dropping out. But he said he spent seven years training all he needed was seven years but the thing about CIA operatives they have to be really really good looking like you know how James Bond is good looking and they always get the best guy that looks like him like the very first James Bond was Sean Connery at the time women loved him he now he's just an old man my friend I'm talking about the CIA operative looked like that that supermodel Fabio Remember Fabio, that supermodel guy? That's how he looked. He had Fabio's look. And he also said, some parts of training, he had to hit on about three CIA professional mm -hmm. operatives. He had to get their trust and he had to learn how to love a woman because he was kind of like a retard. He was kind of, I, I don't mean to say that. I mean, he was like special needs. And um, he did everything. He learned how to, how to, um, he learned how to hit on women. He, he they, they gave him this training for two years. They gave him that training, how to hit on women, how to earn their trust until you find out who they are, who they're working for. Once you find out this, who this woman's working for, don't they always tell them, do not fall in love with the with the with the uh, the plan. Don't fall in love with the plan. Just use her until you get information off of her. 
once you're, you've got that information, kill her. Because she'll be the enemy. So you kill her straight. You shoot her in the head. If you don't, her, her operatives will find out that you're a cop. And when you're a CIA operative and you got busted by the terrorists, they'll fuck you, man. They'll seriously fuck you up, man. If they find out, if they find out you're a CIA operative, they won't even care, man. They'll just shoot you in the head. Because that's how much terrorists hate the CIA. The CIA sends operatives. One operative can survive a whole warehouse full of guns being shot at. He can sur he knows how to do dodge bullets. He knows how he knew how to do a lot of James Bond stuff. That's what he does. James Bond stuff. That's what oper there's different types of operatives. There's operatives because when he said he was an operative, it was the 70s. He said he was in Vietnam. He got sent as an instructor. They put him in Vietnam as a structure, even though he trained for 10 years. I mean, seven years. They put him in as an instructor. He said that's all he did was an instructor. Then he said he hadn't had enough. He had enough. He, he had enough. He had enough of it. He said he had enough of. He said he had enough of um, people telling him what to do. So he said all he knew was the training the training of operative does up till up till after he served four years in Vietnam as an instructor to soldiers on which building to go into. That's my video and I hope you all liked it. Subscribe and like. Fuck, the CIA is gonna be after me, man. Let's do it, man. Let's put that on Facebook. I can get this thing shut off. Did you shut it off? Trying to. Okay, I'm done stories. Just shut me off.